Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy, presented by Yamaha. If you want to catch some big redfish, you might want to stay tuned and watch how we do it right here on Sportsman's Adventures. Hey, welcome to Homa, Louisiana. We're here fishing the IFA Redfish Championship, and I gotta tell you what's really cool is all the teams. 104 teams showed up to compete, and 108 miles from here is Anthony Randazzo, and he's gonna help us do a little bit of pre-fishing. Put us on the bite, show us where the pogies are, show us where all the right-sized fish are. You might actually even catch some that are a little too big. What? Big mama on the line. Should I throw over there with you? Absolutely. Where there's one, there's a ton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw on the right side of you. Go for it. We clear there? Yes, sir. That fish is a little left of you. Actually, he went behind you. I'm gonna here? decoy for you. How's that? Right. <laughs> nice. Anthony, that's a redfish? You know it. Pulling eight pounds of drag off of that Akuma reel. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bait popping right out there I see now. That. Yeah. So I reel in and throw yeah. that? Uh huh. All right. As Elmer Fudd said, they went that away. They sure did. Well, Mr. Randazzo, why don't you tell everybody what time of year it is and what we're doing here in Venice, Louisiana? Well, it's October, one of the more popular times of year in the Mississippi River Delta. The salt water's creeped in as far as it can creep in against the Mississippi River flow. All the bait migrations are going on. Mullet season's in full swing. The pogey migration is in full swing. And the fish are just pigging out, eating all they can eat to put on weight for winter. Now when you say fish, tell me what species are feeding on all these pogies and mullet. Literally all the inshore saltwater species, the trout, the redfish, the flounder, they're all eating as much mullet and pogie as they can. They really like the pogie because it's a seasonal type of forage. It's, it's out in the open water all the time, but it only comes in shallow certain times of the year, this being the, the biggest push inland of the year. The Mississippi River this year is slightly higher than usual, so these pogies have pushed into all the coastal bays. They would love to go up the tributaries to the Mississippi River, but that little bit higher uh, salinity out here is keeping them out here, and they're just piled up as tight as they can be. And with that, all that bait comes, all the bull redfish. Come. Yes, sir. It's been a stellar year for bull redfishing here. Usually we have three seasons for bull red fishing this year. Right. They all ran together. No kidding. They never really got to the point where we were looking for them, trying to find some more. So Anthony, what do you think about that Akuma rod there, Buff? It's doing That's its a job. medium heavy rod. We got 30 pound suffix power braid on there. I didn't have any 832 in 30 pound laying around in my closet, so we loaded up that. Akuma and seems to be a pretty good combo for what we're trying to do. It is. It's got plenty of backbone to set the hook. It's, I'm putting a good deal of pressure on these fish because they're big fish. You know, you want to try to land them in a reasonable amount of time and release them so they survive. And the rod's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Wow, look at that red fish. Woo! This will put a frown on a tournament angler's face and a smile on everyone else's. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, speaking of tournaments, we're here in Louisiana trying to get ready for the IFA Redfish Championship. And because these big fish are going off, we just said we're going to take a little bit of time and to catch some of these. Certainly, this fish is way past the slot. The slot in Louisiana is 18 to 27. You're allowed to have five fish 
per day, per person, one of those fish can be over that 27 inch slot. So it's, uh, we don't let, take any of these big ones, do you, Anthony? As Not a, at all, these are all breeders. We're happy just to catch them and let them go after a quick pick. Oh, that's a quick cool We'd like to get a quick pick up. And... There's some bruisers in here right now. This week we've landed several between 30 and 35 pounds. Wow. Tell people where they make their mistake when you have a big fish like this close. Where do people make a mistake and end up breaking them off? Well, a lot of people just try to turn the fish when it's on a short line. The line doesn't have the chance to flex at all. The rod doesn't flex, and you just end up pulling the hook or breaking your line. I'm going to let you have him back. I don't have a leader there. But the most important thing is to get his head on top of the water. Once his head's on top of the water, he really has no power. You'd think the tail would be the power source, but when he gets his Look head in the that. water, he's ready to go. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Just like back home, right, Rick? We had not seen one. <laughs> you know, this time of year, Flamingo in slick, calm days, running the markers, looking for triple tails, you'll run over schools like this. Yes. But it doesn't happen but maybe three days out of a whole year. Man, what a stud. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Williamson Lures for the Pelagic Playground. Maverick Boat Company, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. Humminbird, simply, clearly better. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. And Rapala. Catch the latest at rapala.com. Introducing Helmmaster, Yamaha's first fully integrated digital boat control system. With Helmmaster, you can start your outboards with a swipe of a fob and control them with a single lever. Outboard trim and steering friction adjust automatically as you accelerate and decelerate. Adjust engine speed with the touch of a button. The Helmmaster joystick provides the means to navigate and dock precisely with confidence and ease. Take control of your next vessel with Helmmaster at your command. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. He's fished here for decades. He knows every hump, every drop off, every contour. He's dedicated his entire life to understanding this single body of water. And he didn't know squat about it until two hours ago. AutoChart Live lets you build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Only with Onyx. Only from Humminbird. Continuing the revolution. Faster, drier, even better built. Designed around Yamaha's latest technology outboards. Still built by the same craftsmen and anglers who launched the Bay Boat Revolution. Whether chasing world records, or time on the water with the family, or anything in between, there's a new Pathfinder model for you. Pathfinder, number one for a reason, still. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Thank you for joining us on Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the latest happenings, contests, appearances by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to hook up with Sportsman's Adventures, you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures plus tips and techniques on our YouTube channel. 
If there's a product that we use during the show that you'd like to know more about, you can find links to our sponsors by heading to sportsmansadventures.com. We're in Beerus, Louisiana at Paradise Plus Guide Service. We offer lodging, meals, and fishing, all in one convenient package in one convenient place. We can accommodate up to 28 guests per night here. We've got a full-time chef that prepares gourmet Cajun cuisine. We run a full-time inshore light tackle saltwater guide service here. We specialize in redfish, speckled trout, and flounder. We've got trophy speckled trout in the spring and the fall. We've got bull redfish from spring until fall. We've got lots of other fish. 12 months out of the year. It'd be great to say that it's been an easy road, but you know, anything that you, you really love and desire takes a lot of hard work. And we've had our fair share of obstacles here. We've, we've overcome the, the woes of Hurricane Katrina. We've been through the, the BP oil spill and we stuck with it and it's really paid off. You know, our, our client base has grown exponentially since we started and more and more people seem to be finding out about the great fishing here and the great accommodations and they just keep coming back. And, we're grateful for them and hope that you can come and join us too. So Anthony, you do full days, half day charters? Typically in this area, most of the, the charters start at uh, daybreak in the morning, typically uh -huh. 6 or 6.30 and run until about 2 p.m. We're blessed with a lot of fish here and you know our customers like to keep fish. We don't we don't hesitate to keep a limit of fish, which can be up to 25 trout and five redfish and even 10 flounder per person per day. It takes a little while to get those fish clean before our customers depart. We typically try to have all that done by 3 p.m. So it's a little hard to go back out in the afternoon. Some days you, you bite so good in the morning you don't want to quit. You want to go back out in the afternoon. But if you're fishing six or seven days a week, it becomes pretty exhausting after a while just doing what we do. Yeah. And then plus you can pick and choose your days too, you yes. know. I like the fact that no matter whether you like to fish with a spinning rod, you like to fish with bait casting rods, or even a fly rod, you guys have that here. We're very blessed. There's there's a lot of possibilities oh my every day. Look at the size of that redfish. <clears throat> wow. Let me grab the rapple of fish grip. That is a big one. Says it right there, Rappel. 60 pound, let's see how big this one really is. We'll weigh him on this scale here, partner. He took off like he was a lot bigger than this. In fact, hey. we, we thought he was a jack when we first hooked him up. He That's ran plenty off big. 60 yards of line in no time. I don't think I could enter one of those in the IFA this week. Well, you could, but they might hurt your feelings when they kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to DQ this. I'm going to say, well, if if this is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> like the song says. That's for sure. Oh, goodness. Let's see how much he actually weighs here. 20 pounds, 22 pounds. You agree with that? Just like all his brothers and sisters in this school. Wow. So Anthony, square dance time. Uh oh, <laughs> got a double header. Uh oh, got oh. All right. So when the rod, when the lines get together, what you got to do here, guys, so you don't cut each other off, is you put your rod tips together. And you can see who's on top and who's on bottom. That kind of sounds funny saying that about a man. That does, but <laughs> it works. <laughs> exactly. So let's talk a little bit about the type of different type of tackle that you can use here, Anthony. It's a really great area because we've got a variety of habitat here. It's a hundred square miles of greatness. There's there's shallow water fishing, there's deep water fishing for redfish, and we've got all oh. sorts of oh. places that we use all sorts of tackle. Yeah, I'm listening. The best thing <laughs> is you know, catching big fish on light tackle, but we catch a lot of smaller fish on light tackle. I'm gonna raise that anchor up. Oh, you can do it. Uh oh, 
We catch a bunch of fish on just quarter ounce jigs, you know, no bobbers. Sometimes right. we'll pair them up with spinners. We'll throw gold spoons, we'll throw topwater baits, shallow diving crankbaits. Basically, we're, we're like a bass fisherman. We got a bass fisherman's tackle box and we use it all. You know, different places, we use different lures, different fish, we use different lures. But we try our hardest to keep it as simple as possible and as fun as possible. Here you go. I hey, knew you we were going to be back ever, together again. You ever put two on one boga? No. <laughs> I think uh, I might have to take a picture of both of these together. Have an official photo tie timeout. Whoa, there's one. Ooh, nice. Murphy size. Choo. And Anthony's is bigger than mine. If he quit messing around and get him in here. Man, I'm ready there, Chief. Dang. Oh. Oh, need a bigger fist grip. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I caught a baby. Look at this. Look at this. Come here, Bubba. It's luck of the draw out here, but look at this. There's no bad one. Kids can eat mine. <laughs> wow. That's what we do here in Venice, Louisiana in the month of October. We really put it on them. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by La Jolla Resort, a place for family and fishermen. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Custom trailer manufacturer, Ameritrail. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Suffix Lines, the world's most hardcore fishing line. BMC, your expert in hooks. Startron cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. And there's no stopping Okuma. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel-efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender Boats. Performance through innovation. All fishermen are created equal. Some just use better fishing line. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Yamaha's next generation V6 four strokes are changing the game. Mid-range power was 
awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. I couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a, just, I was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are like, it's a whole nother game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself during the Yamaha Discover V6 Offshore Demo Tour. See why we call it the Game Changer. Sorry about that braid on your hand. That's all, right. <laughs> all right, so I'll let you hold that. I'm gonna get the board out. Anthony. So we're measuring. Yeah. I think it's gonna be too long. He's over 30 inches. Yeah. So what they do with that new deal is they'll push it to the 26 inch line mm -hmm. right here. And that's all it does is pinches the tail for I'm you. With you. The longest part counts. That's it. So Good this deal. fish would be a lot of crying if we were in the tournament. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> Getting there. Right? A little bit smaller than those ones we caught this morning. Yeah. <laughs> but for sure, he's the bigger of the what oh, we yeah. just those saw other in this ones little pocket. There. Captain Randazzo, you got him? Just had to keep making a little racket got with a Poppy. Little, little Poppy. So Anthony, you know, you did real well when you were fishing in all the competitive redfish tournaments, bud. And what kind of advice would you give somebody watching this show? When you go to a place you've never gone before, what, where would you start? Usually we'd get the charts of the area and try to look at the charts, particularly charts that showed bottom contours. Especially before give the tournament. One second. <laughs> Yeah, before the tournament, we definitely look at the charts, try to figure out the lay of the land. That's number one. Once we got the lay of the land right, then it was a little bit easier to plan our attack. We were fortunate, you know, we had great sponsors and lots of times two of us would take two boats and two trucks and we'd split up. We just try to cover as much water as we could. On the first day, we may not even fish. We may just ride all day. Because looking at a chart and looking at the water is two different things. Yeah. So we'd ride as much as we could ride. Look for good bait, look for structure, look for anything that might indicate we need to spend some time there. This guy doesn't want to quit. Uh, he's a bruiser. That fish is... Uh in the heavyweight category, bud. It's up there. You can bet he's eating a few pounds of pogies this week. Now, speaking of the pogies, Anthony, let's talk a little bit about the different things that the redfish have here in this area to eat. This is one of the most blessed places on planet Earth. You've got forage coming down the Mississippi River in the form of crawfish, river shrimp, river shad, brim, all, kind, all kinds of great things that redfish are not partial to. And then you've got the saltwater environment where they've got crabs, mullet, potbelly minnows, menhaden, which we call pogey. They eat snails. They eat everything out here. They've shrimp got too, another shrimp, different kind yeah, of shrimp. shrimp Pink too. shrimp. Saltwater shrimp, brown shrimp, and white shrimp. They've got so much food to graze upon and they just eat all the time. They keep growing and growing and growing. Dang, this guy looks like he's been eating a lot. <laughs> Holy moly. Wow. We're gonna need a bigger fish grip. We need a bigger <laughs> fish grip. That's what it's all about. Dang. Look at that. That is a bass drum, buddy. You know it. You In the hear. drum world. You can hear it from a long ways away, too. Good. Lee, look at that. Oh, he's, he's two yetis. Look, <laughs> he's two yetis. One, two. Dang. We've, get, we've got a, a lot of great customers from all over the country. They come down here trying to catch fish like this. Most people come down here in a day or two's time. They catch their personal best redfish ever. They may catch, they may break their own record several times in one day. All right, Anthony, we're gonna let him go. Dang. That's what it's all about right What's there. What's that fish weigh? 25 pounds. Dang. 
Is it a weight? Oh. That's a nice redfish. Whew. As long as your leg, Rick. Yeah. Well, it ain't hard to be long as a Murphy leg. <laughs> Dang. Now that's a sportsman's true adventure. We might have to change the name of the show. Whew. After finding some nice spots, Captain Rick and his tournament partner, Captain Jeff Page, set off on day one of the two-day IFA Redfish Tour from Huma, Louisiana. They travel almost 200 miles to catch their fish before it's time to weigh them in. After day one, they are in the top 15 out of over 100 teams. And on day two, Captains Rick and Jeff do what they do best by becoming the 2014 IFA Redfish Tour Champions with a total weight of 35.29 pounds. Captain Jeff thought he should thank the fish personally. See, getting to know your territory does pay off. And as Captains Rick and Jeff head home with cash and a new boat, you gotta admit, it's been another great sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. Hey! Give us a little handshake there, baby! That's why we like food fishing in the Florida Keys right there! Pull him in there, Bobo! Get your grizzly mitts on him! Get the apple grip! <laughs>